Okay, we're given the derivative of a function is this, and we want to find the original function. This information right here is going to allow us to calculate uh, the value of C. If we find an antiderivative for this function, uh, this condition will allow us to evaluate C. So the antiderivative for 2 cosine of T is 2 sine of T because the derivative of the sine of T is cosine of T. The antiderivative for secant squared is tangent of T plus C. There's the general antiderivative for this function right here. This condition allows us to replace C with uh, a constant. So this means when we put pi over 3 in for t, we get an answer of 2. So let's put, I'll go to red, 2 sine of pi over 3 plus tangent of pi over 3. plus c gives us an answer of 2. So let's solve this for c. Well, what's the sine of pi over 3? You know, pi over 3 is like a 60 degree angle. I didn't draw that very well. Like a 60 degree angle. So this is 30. So the sides are in the ratio 1, 2 to square root of 3. So the pi, sine of pi over 3 is radical 3 over 2. The tangent of pi over 3 is just radical 3 over 1 plus c. This becomes radical 3 plus radical 3, so, which is 2 radical 3. So c is 2 minus 2 radical 3. So the original function, f of t, is 2 sine of t plus tangent of t plus 2 minus 2 radical 3. And indeed, if we take the derivative of this to get f prime, we will get this derivative right here. And there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. I'll post a link to a Desmos graph that seems to prove the point on this uh, antiderivative. derivative <laughs>